So I have some difficulty writing this. Um, I had a lot of stuff that I wanted, wanted to express. And uh, I think I will start off by saying that uh, my perspective is just coming from someone that has lived in the environment, but also has uh, had higher education and was able to, uh, you know, contribute by community organizing, uh, protests, and just having a, a, a social justice mind state when, uh, you know, approaching matters like this before I got into public ally. So, I wrote a short poem, short, very short. This, uh, hopefully, is not mis misconstrued. This is being negative. It's called Race Matters. Learning to shape ignorance, preconceived notions, hearsay, and pop culture pseudo racial norms. Race matters. With a little cultural sensitivity training, power of privilege, awareness, and the ability to walk amongst the people and not let fear consume you. Race matters. When you're the minority trying to help a large disenfranchised population who may have distrust, mistrust, me, distrust due to the many who came before you with promises deferred and dried up like a raisin in the sun. Race matters. When the voices of the community are ignored, Beliefs and cultural norms ignored in the hopes to create a healthier neighborhood. Love conquers all, but understanding is needed. Real communication is needed. Letting go of fear is needed. L O V E. Learning overstands bearing emotions. Uh, my experience at Gabriel's Place uh, at the start of the program was, was kind of daunting because this, I was given like six objectives and it was just kind of pointed out to me that I should, that, or not that I should, that in a sense that I would kind of be a face for the organization to, you know, it's a young organization in, in, in Avondale that's trying to uh, improve the health of the overall community. And personally, I don't want to have that, that attention on me, and I just want to play, you know, do my part. So I think, you know, coming into the program, I felt like that I had a lot on my shoulders. And, um, and I know the, the biggest thing that needed to be done was that that connection made with the community. Because we spent a lot of times, you know, working at nonprofits, trying to find ways to engage the community or, or address the, the community's needs. And what happens is, is that we, we create these, these great objectives to accomplish. And sometimes the, the, the smallest things are left out that are the biggest to, to create a healthy relationship. So um, my thing was really just trying to make the organization more transparent as opposed to just who is this, who are these people that are, you know, that has a form that's, that's gated off or that nobody really knows who works there. So one of the things that I did was, you know, create flyers and actually walk up and down Ready Road and some of the side streets and talk to people and like, ask them, how do you feel about the food that is being sold at your grocery store? Do you want change? Oh, they're not going to do anything. You can plan all you want. All they're going to do is let those fruit rot. What's the point? I'm like, the point is, is that, you know, you live in this community and you have the power 
to kick these people out. Don't, uh, be, don't become complacent just because a, little, uh, a few people have let you down. The idea is that if, you, if this is your community, you have control and say what happens in, in your community. So that has, to, that has to be addressed. The biggest issue that I, I face uh, just with trying to get information out is people's complacency. Just the uh, people are okay with these established organizations that are helping them out. And as and that perceived notion that I think coming in intact in, in communities like that is that they don't want to work. Uh, just my experience working with the Urban League and our partners that create choice neighborhoods. Like there is an active network of organizations trying to build the community up. So everyone has to work together. It's like I can't I can't handle all the work. So can you take a little bit of this? Can you take a little bit of that? And that's that's the general agreement. So um, I think for the most part, my biggest role at Gabriel's Place had been just how can I keep, keep this partnership stable <clears throat> or how can I let our partners know that we are concerned with what's going on in the community and how can we play our part. You know, it's easy to say that you know we're here, we're here for you or come and utilize our services. But if we're not, you know, being being visible at community functions, then no one knows you. Sure, they might come to your organization, utilize your service, but they will leave you. They won't create that connection. That you want a sense of family, because we are a family. Everyone works together. Everyone knows, to to some extent knows each other. So uh, that's been my role here. Lastly, just on just Gabriel's place, so I, I think my after leaving, I kind of felt more uh, relief because a lot of the stress that I had to deal with is, is no longer present. And any uh, agitation I may have felt because of what I was trying to convey wasn't uh, taken, you know, clearly or understood. At, at this point, I'm, I'm kind of like okay with it. I, I, what I want is just more involvement and that, that connection that is that is needed for that for that organization to grow. Uh, one, a, a couple of our volunteers at, at this community, uh, concerned citizens in Avondale, just they they express that <coughs> they always get someone new that comes to get to his place and we get attached to them and then they leave and then and that's it. It's like we don't have a connection with the administration or the people that you know work there full time. It's like we 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 try. We definitely try, but they don't feel and I don't necessarily I don't necessarily think that, that it's because of skin color. I think it's more so it's just uh, comfortability. Not everyone is I think we're used to being from two polar opposites and learning how to like, sit together and be in that communicate and that <coughs> uh, cohesion together. Um, in regards to training, I think we're really, that really uh, helped me at Gabriel's Place was uh, the training I learned from asset based mapping. Engagement and outreach that really helped me define my my role and what I need to do to better uh, be efficient as an engagement coordinator and personal and organizational assessment. I the what I what I found that I knew and what I need to improve upon as, as versus where the organization is currently standing and where they need to improve more. So, that high 
large part of uh, emotional and uh, I guess working and learning fulfillment.